Notes on maintenance work. For safe and proper operation, it is essential that the pump is serviced and maintained at regular intervals by appropriately qualified personnel. Work on the electrical system may only be carried out by qualified electricians. The steps shown in the following video must be followed when preparing for maintenance and repair work. Switch off the pump and all components. Disconnect the pump from the supply voltage. Disconnect the pump from the air supply. Tools, calipers, 5mm T-handle, 13mm wrench or socket, torque wrench. The entire pump must be cleaned at regular intervals. This includes cleaning the surfaces and passages of the pump with a compressed air gun and a moistened cleaning cloth. Unscrew the hand knobs on the filter cover. Remove the filter cartridge. Check the gaskets for damage. Loosen the screws on the plastic air guide hood and remove it. Loosen the bolts on the end plate. Take the two long screws from the plastic air guide hood and insert them into the threaded holes on the end plate. Tighten screws evenly until the end plate can be removed. Clean the rotor shaft. Remove the veins from the rotor slots. Clean the surface and passages. Clean the rotor, end plate, and filter housing with compressed air. Use a cleaning cloth to remove excess grease and debris from the end shield and rotor. Check the Teflon tube seals in the end shield. Replace if damaged. Depending on the condition of the ambient and intake air, the filter cartridge may become clogged. It must be cleaned with compressed air at intervals of every 40 to 200 hours. If the filter is clogged or damaged after the cleaning process, it must be replaced. The vein width must be checked every 3,000 operating hours or at least annually. Check the veins for damage and measure the width. The minimum width must be adhered to, otherwise the veins could break and damage the pump. When reinstalling the veins, pay special attention to their orientation. The beveled edge should rest flush to the housing. Insert the veins into the rotor slots, making sure that they slide in and out of the slot easily. If not, additional cleaning may be needed. Reinstall the end plate using the guide pins for proper alignment. Secure with the bolts. Tighten the bolts to the specified torques. Install the plastic air guide hood. Tighten the screws to the specified torques. Lubricate the roller bearings with the specified grease every 3,000 hours. Insert the filter and mount the filter cover. Original Becker parts provide optimal fit, long life, and high material quality, decreasing the risks of equipment failure.